Hello friends, welcome to complete package of top interview questions and answers related to network administration and help desk job positions. The purpose of this video is to combine two major factors required to be successful in acquiring of IT jobs, specifically related to this field, thus merging of the two separate videos. Help desk tutorial will help you with the first non-technical interview and second interview is covered by network administration questions and answers. This eliminates the need to watch multiple videos for the related type of jobs. A couple of questions may be repeating during the video which may serve as method of memorizing the important factors during an interview. I hope all of the information is easy to understand and best of luck to you my friends. In most cases, in order to properly address following questions, a multi-part answer is provided for each and are expected to be recited during an interview. Question number one. What makes a good help desk employee? A. Have the ability to listen and resolve problems. B. Be able to resolve issues fast and concisely by explaining the situation in an easy to follow manner and C. Have patience and understanding with customers. Question number two. How would you deal with an issue that you can't resolve or understand? A. Ask appropriate questions to get to the bottom of the issue without aggravating the customer. B. You would contact or inquire a solution from a coworker or a manager. Question number three. If you come across a frustrated customer, how would you deal with this situation? A. Reassuring customer that their issue will be resolved is a sure way to calm them down. B. It is important to stay calm yourself and not get frustrated in order to handle the situation properly. Question number four. Have you ever had a conflict with someone? And if so, how did you resolve it? A. Try to provide a minimal conflict situation in which the issue was resolved in a professional and courteous manner. B. You can also provide an answer where it was a simple misunderstanding and how you were able to resolve the issue. Question number five. How would you rate yourself from one to five based on the ability to resolve issues? A. If you are new to help desk and customer service, you may not wish to rate yourself at five because the following question may not be something you can answer. In this answer, you could rate yourself at four. B. You can rate yourself at five if you have previous help desk experience and are sure that you can answer any other questions that may follow. Question number six. How do you stay up to date with IT knowledge? A. For this answer, you can mention that internet, books, and education as sources of your knowledge in order to keep up with fast evolving IT world. B. Be ready to cite your sources as this may be a follow-up question. Question number seven. Why do you wish to work with help desk? A. Provide honest answer to this by stating that you like to troubleshoot computer problems and gain pleasure in helping others. Also mention that help desk is a good place to learn new things. Question number eight. How do you stay organized? A. You can provide specific ways on how you stay organized. For example, you can mention that you take notes 
and prioritize tasks at hand in order to resolve the issues in an efficient manner. B. You utilize any tools provided in order to stay organized. In this example, you could mention Microsoft Outlook, Word, Excel, or similar software in addition to taking paper notes. Question number nine. Do you think it's important to be a team player? A. It is very important to be a good team player because it shows that you are willing to work with others. B. A good team player can resolve more difficult issues in a more efficient manner, especially when working with different departments within the company. Question number 10. Which ticketing system are you familiar with? A. If you have experience with Help Desk, for this question you would simply state which ticketing system you have used in the past. Question number one. Can you tell us about yourself? This question is the most important not only because it's the very first question of your interview, but this is the only opportunity to sell yourself as the best candidate for this job. You have to make sure that this answer is tailored to the position at hand, meaning only talk about yourself in the relevance to this position. Talk about your past experience in information technology and stay away from irrelevant personal stuff. Stick to the facts about yourself because if you say something that is not true, the interviewer may follow up with a question that you cannot answer. Question number two. What is a firewall? Firewall prevents connections between two or multiple sources. It basically blocks any incoming or outgoing traffic. Firewalls can be in software or hardware forms. Question number three. What is TCP IP? TCP is a transmission control protocol that deals with establishing a connection between computers before any data is being sent. In other words, it acts as a highway for data packets being sent back and forth used by various protocols like HTTP or FTP. TCP also sorts out data packet receive order. Question number four. Can you explain the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, used by a majority of websites as means of transmitting website data and it allows for use of hyperlinks. This protocol mostly uses TCP port 80. HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP that allows for identity verification and low-level encryption using TCP port 443. Question number five. What is a proxy or a proxy server? Proxy deals with filtering network traffic in a sense of preventing access to certain websites and can even monitor user web activity. To put it simply, it can block certain websites from being accessed but it can also act as a measure of hiding the true origin and point of access. Question number six. Can you explain what UDP is? UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol. Unlike TCP, UDP is constantly broadcasting a connection signal which can allow for faster connection speeds. With TCP, 
you have to wait for connection confirmation which takes time. UDP sends out data without consideration of what it is that it's receiving it, sort of like radio signal. Question number seven. What is the loopback IP address? The loopback IP address is 127.0.0.1. As part of troubleshooting network connection issues, it is used to test network interface card for functionality. If you ping this IP address, it completes successfully, it means that your hardware is okay. Question number eight. What is DHCP? DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The main function of DHCP is to handle distribution of IP addresses on a network. IP address assigned by DHCP server is dynamic, meaning that they are leased and released dynamically. To explain it further, if you connect a PC to a network, it will get a leased IP address, and if you disconnect or move that PC, it will be assigned a different one. Question number nine. What is FTP and port used? FTP is a file transfer protocol used to transfer large files between computers with built-in ability to pause transfer of data. Ports used by FTP are 20 and 21. Question number 10. What is SSH and port used? Also known as Secure Shell, is used to establish a secure connection between devices which can be anything from computers to switches. For example, you can use SSH at a cafe and connect to any device anywhere by establishing a configured secure shell tunnel between two devices, making the connection secure. Question number 11. What is the maximum length of UTP cable allowed? The maximum length of UTP is 90 to 100 meters for a single segment connection. If you have a switch or a repeater, it could compensate for this limitation. Question number 12. What are the layers of OSI model and how many? There are seven layers of OSI model. Physical layer, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, and application. Question number 13. What is the job of network layer? A textbook answer for this question is that network layer deals with routing, switching, and transmission of data from one point to another, but this layer is also responsible for error handling and packet sequencing. Question number 14. Can you name different types of network cables? CAT5 runs at 100 megabits a second maximum speed. CAT5E can run up to 1 gigabit a second. And CAT6 can run up to 10 gigabits a second connection speeds. All cables are limited to 100 meter distance in order to run at optimum speed. Question number 15. What is a subnet mask? Subnet mask dictates the size of a network 
and also tells which part of the subnet our host IP address belongs to. Basically, you can have multiple subnetworks for a given IP address range. Question number 16. Can you tell me the difference between a workgroup and a domain? With a workgroup, you have a collection of systems that are connected to the same network, but have their own set of rules and permissions set at a local level. With a domain, you have a group of systems that are bound by the rules of centralized authentication server. In a domain, each system has to connect through the domain server using provided credentials. Question number 17. How would you determine connection path between local host and a server? A trace RT command is used to accomplish this test. Similar to ping command, with addition of letting us visualize which routers or switches are used to connect in reaching of our destination. Used for troubleshooting dead connections. Question number 18. Can you explain IP config? IP config command is used to determine TCP IP settings, DHCP configuration, DNS, default gateway, and subnet mask. It can also be used to change local DHCP settings, for example, IP config forward slash release and forward slash renew. Question number 19. What is VPN? A virtual private network allows users to create a secure connection over public network such as internet. This is commonly used by mobile workers in order to access company's network from a remote location. Question number 20. Why should we hire you? Just as important as the very first question on this list, this is your last chance to tell this employer why you are the best choice for this position. You should talk about your experience and how you could use that to benefit the company. Don't be afraid to exalt yourself without coming off as egocentric. Be polite and smile. As bonus advice, before going for an interview, make sure you do your research about the company you have interview with. The main reason for this is mul multiple interviews in which one of them may be with human resources. Thank you so much for watching. Truth be told, there are countless questions that you may come across and it's almost impossible to know which ones. I hope this video gives you the confidence that you may need in order to get this awesome job. Good luck to you all and have a wonderful day.